bilateral exchange can lead to a successful cross-continental cooperation and is thus key factor in enhancing Africa's touristic technological, scientific, and educational development. It is therefore fundamental that Africa continues to build further economic bridges with the rest of the world in order to ensure that sustainable economic development occurs throughout Africa. Through cooperation with other nations and exchanging ideas and knowledge with the world, Africa's economic potential can truly be realized. It was on this premise that the African Community Bridge Foundation was founded in 2002. African Community Bridge is a non-profit organization founded in 2002. What we do is we have training programs for entrepreneurship development. We do water sanitation projects, education, HIV and um, AIDS training. So we have a wide range of um, activities we carry on as African Community Bridge Foundation. The African Community Bridge Foundation is a non-for-profit, non-governmental organization that has taken center stage in the eye of the current economic storm sweeping throughout Africa. As the name implies, the African Community Bridge Foundation has been structured to initiate continental, social, cultural, and economic bridges for the overall benefit of developing African communities. With a partnership with Bank of Industry, Central Bank of Nigeria, to train more youth, to train more women, to be, become business owners, to become entrepreneurs, to be able to fend for themselves. We want to create a vibrant private sector where we can have our young people who can take the high command in the economy. If they are employed, they will be productive. But if they are not employed, they will not be productive. They will not be able to make contributions. So this is an attempt at ensuring that more and more Nigerians are employed and be able to contribute more to the Nigerian economy. We don't generate the ideas. We put money to it, it will go to nothing. Made in Nigerian goods. And that is the aspect I want you core members to key into right now. At the time of harvesting, the company that is involved comes just to your farm without any, any, any effort on your part. They come to your farm and collect your produce. They collect your produce, they buy, they buy it off you, they pay you your money, you pay back your bank loan, and you make your profit, and then you can go back again and again into that, into that business. Leveraging the grand old wisdom in Dr. Martin Luther King's vision of a place where all people can equally share in the abundant resources of our world. The African Community Bridge Foundation believes that every community, when viewed as a niche, will serve as a means for a transfer of resources, skills, and innovation. In 2007, owing to its robust grassroots economic bridging programs in Nigeria and dozens of communities throughout Africa, the African Community Bridge Foundation was drawn into a creative partnership with Nigeria's Federal Development and Financial Group, represented by the Central Bank of Nigeria, and handed the huge task of establishing and managing entrepreneurial development center programs for the entire North Central region of Nigeria. We believe, actually, that we can empower women, youth to become middle class of Nigeria and stop depending on the government. They are very interested having the passionate, good fear to be an entrepreneur. You know, the story tells, even the governor of Nigeria State is an entrepreneur. Through this program now, they have been given hope because a lot of them transformed and they are happy for it. You can imagine, instead of now being employees, they are now employers of labor. In just a few years, the African Community Bridge Foundation has made happy employers out of dejected employees and businessmen and women out of hopeless artisans. Well, I'm happy because the program has helped me to know so many things about business, about to be on my own. I learned a lot from what I have been taught. It has assisted our youth, roaming about doing all this uh, uh, election violence, but now, you know, they said, there's a saying that they said, an idle man is a devil workshop. But now, since they have had something doing, at least they will know what to do, and they will be our future leaders. As a good customer care and service officer, one, they have to have the care coming from the inside in order to render a good service outside. And I actually made them understand the fact that as a good customer care officer, they need patience, they need to 
have the sympathy with their customers, they have to be good listeners to their customers. If doing okay. business is anything to go by in this 21st century world, the concept of entrepreneurship must be held in, in fact high in high esteem by the business owner. So that is why I brought that topic to so let them know that as they are on the verge of entering into these industries, they have to bear in mind the need to uphold in, uh, innovation in whatever they do in order to remain relevant in ever-changing and competitive world. Entrepreneurs in Nigeria do not succeed because they lack the record keeping. So that is the essence of teaching them so that they will be able to know the profitability of their business, they will be able to know how to, when to order, how to position their businesses. All these things are done in record keeping. I've even visited about three businesses that have been instituted by the participants. We have a fish farmers. The guy has record of how many feeds he bought on a monthly basis. He has the record on the sales he made. All these things are imparting positively on them. Mina Atlas Center have recorded a lot of sources in terms of um, the participants which we, we've trained. When you go to their um, various businesses that are doing well, and they're not only that they have established themselves, they have also employed more people. That means that that's a huge success. I've been able to contribute my quarter, and I see the organization going places. Graduating literally hundreds of students every year from each of the centers spread across the north central region of Nigeria, the African Community Bridge has easily become the poster child for successful implementation of the Entrepreneurial Development Center program, a feat that has won praises and accolades. On March 17, 2016, the African Community Bridge Foundation was named as the lead training and execution partner to the Nigerian Bank of Industries Youth Entrepreneurship Support YES program, a vibrant economic bridge program similar to the Central Bank of Nigeria's Entrepreneurial Development Center program. The capacity building component of the program will be implemented in partnership, entrepreneurship development centers and training consultants who are among the best in the country, the African Community Bridge Foundation. Uh, ACBF will continue to hold their hands to ensure proper utilization of those funds so that they pay back. Because it's only when they pay back um, that others can come and they too can also come for repeat transactions. And I believe to honor your obligations, including their service, is one of the parameters for measuring a well-managed uh, enterprise. We are relatively unknown. So I hope we become a household name in Nigeria in terms of this is the place to go to, this is the organization to go to for training, capacity building, skills acquisition, entrepreneurship development. We will actually do what we promise, that we will link you to finance to the best of our ability. With the new responsibility and the numerous others lined up for consideration, the African Community Bridge Foundation easily stands out as a formidable force in the not-so-simple task of bridging African communities for social, cultural, and economic advancement in the 21st century.